Hello, hello, my very beautiful people. This is your girl Sim, back with another episode of The Sim Squad. Hi! So I've been doing like back-to-back -back analysis videos or uh, classification videos, award videos, and I have like plenty of new perfumes that I want to showcase. Some of them are like not really new perfumes, um, like this one, this video is not like a new perfume, but it's something which I have been late to the party. Now, a lot of y'all had requested these two perfumes to be reviewed and that's why I've got them. And <laughs> I shouldn't say this, they're good perfumes, but I regret it because they both, I have so many different dupes of both of these perfumes. So these are the Souvenir Collection by Afna. I have the Souvenir Desert Rose and then this one is Floral Bouquet. Now, I bought these on a whim. Why? Because it was on sale. <laughs> So these are one of those, right? Like I got it during the November sale and I was like, okay, let me go through all the requests because I write down like every time somebody requests a perfume, I put it down on a list and the list is like, you will not imagine how long that list is. And then I saw these perfumes on sale and I was like, you know what, when it was released, it was so expensive, which is why it's okay to wait and not buy the perfume, which is in hype right now, because it's definitely overpriced. Like this one right now is like well priced and I bought it and I think till now it's not like the price did not go up again. Why? Because I'm late to the party. <laughs> but there's no there's no time and place. Uh, there is time and place for perfumes. But there's no time and place for your purchases. So buy it whenever you feel like. If you like these kind of perfumes, the ones I'm going to explain, go ahead. I'm going to start with the floral one. The... And let me not keep you in the dark. Like let me just... The packaging is like really beautiful by the way. Guys, today my ADD is acting up, yeah? so just <laughs> ignore it if I'm jumping and doing weird stuff. Let me just show you like the packaging. Wow, look at that. So this is very pretty to give as a gift. After the box, <laughs> it comes in a another box, which is like very pretty. And then you have like the perfume, which is, whoops, okay, it was upside down. So, did I open the box the other way around? No, I opened it the right way. So, ta-da! <laughs> So that's your uh, Afnan floral bouquet and it has this very gorgeous, let me, yeah, literally a bouquet inside. Very pretty. I was trying to open this because I was like, I want to touch it. <laughs> then I was like, don't. So basically the perfume opens from the other side. Let me just remove the sticker. It's annoying. So the bottle opens actually the other way and this smells like Delina. <laughs> So, you know, I have so many perfumes that smell like Delina and this one, I would say, I don't know what to say, honestly, because if it smells like Delina, you guys know that I'm so sick and tired of this DNA and the Herba Pura DNA and the um, Baccarat Rouge DNA. Like I just like when I smell something like this, I just get upset, but it's a beautiful scent. It's a very, very pretty scent. I think I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna see, like I'm gonna try and not think that it smells like Delina. And I'm gonna try and wear it. But just because I have so many different, now you will ask me like, I'll try and list them all. Like all the dupes I have, maybe I'll do a video for this as well, I don't know. Because I have so many of them. The thing I like about this one is that greenness of that rhubarb, it's very, very mild. It almost smells like a citrus instead of rhubarb. And I hope, I hope that once it like dries down, because obviously I purchased it and it was sitting in that box till now, till I took it out to review it. I must admit the bottle is absolutely stunning and you need to keep it on its head. And this one is quite flimsy. So just be careful because the top is very, very heavy and the bottom it's plastic, but it's a heavy plastic, but it has the risk of like, you know, but yeah, the bottle, it's like super, super, super precious. So you know what? I'm going to try and wear this a couple of times and see because now it's winter. So I might not like get choked with it. And I'm sure because a lot of y'all told me that like you get compliments all the time for anything that smells like Delina. So I'm going to try and wear this and I'm going to try and make use of it and see if I can get back into this DNA. The thing is, the rose is so strong. Everything is so strong in this perfume. Like... I think I'll just make like two sprays and try to live with it. You <laughs> know, try and not get too adventurous. So this is a fruity floral. On Fragrantica, it's got 3.91. I'm not surprised because it's just another dupe of Delina. 
smells like delina and the top notes are rhubarb lychee and bergamot same notes middle notes of rose vanilla peony and lily of the valley and the base notes of musk amber and cashmere wood it's slightly powdery slightly dirty rose it's a little headache inducing i'll be honest with you like for me when i initially sprayed it i sprayed a bit on my arm and everything and i literally had to get out of my office room and i had to like get some fresh air because i was like like you know it was like a bit too much for me so i'm going to like stay keep it light i'm not going to spray it on my skin i'm going to spray it on my clothes maybe i'll just spray two sprays like somewhere like inside my abaya and not outside you know like so that it just you get whiffs of it and maybe i will start appreciating this perfume again so if you want like a good dupe of delina this is like a super 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 good good dupe also it is like like i said slightly less green slightly less rhubarby like like the bitterness and everything it's like much lesser so i guess i can see the appreciation and i can see myself liking this in the future i don't make any promises but i'll see i'll let you guys know and update for this so for me this one right now let's say it's a 7 out of 10 so it is a good perfume i know a lot of people are going to like it i am 100% sure i'm going to get a lot of compliments for this because yes it is a perfume that travels a lot projects a lot stays like oh my goodness like i can't imagine how like strong it is and how long it stays i don't know what's up with this dna but it just like stays and stays it go goes on till you wash it off maybe if i even try to wash it off my skin it might not come off you know so be careful where you spray this there's no middle eastern vibe check unless you consider rose to be a middle eastern note it's not and the celebrity like i know this is like for me chanel 5 because of course that was like marilyn monroe so i don't know why marilyn monroe came in my mind i don't know why this perfume is not obnoxious it is like a lady like perfume but at the same time it smells very classic it has a powdery nature and everything so i don't know why in my head image i was trying to think of another celebrity that i could think of that would be classic but first person that came in my mind was marilyn monroe so i'm going to give this to her this is definitely like fall winter it will be better summer and spring you can try but du during the daytime maybe not uh, sorry at night maybe not during daytime it's not bad i uh, very much appreciate the packaging i mean the box it was like nice and the skin protected so this is also nice imagine giving this as a gift to someone like you know pe people will actually love it so yeah that's like one thing i can really really appreciate about this perfume now let's do the next one that's the desert rose <laughs> what does it smell like Take a guess. <laughs> Smells like Arba Pura. <laughs> so again, it has like the yellowish uh, thing inside. Very pretty packaging. The packaging, they, I think this is like the best, one of their best. But you know, Afnan perfumes, like think Afnan perfumes, like Rare Passion and Rare Tiffany. Their bottles are like ultra nice. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. There it is. Uh, Okay. That was a fail. Okay, that's the perfume. Again, so you have to be very, very careful because the cap is like not very, very secure. It just comes off. See, so yeah, I'm gonna hold it from here. Again, very, very beautiful. Both of them are like very stunning. I'm gonna keep it at the back of the vanity because this is like a hazard. You know, it might fall. Now this one, of course, I was not very happy because let's say out of the three DNAs I dislike now. I can still appreciate Baccarat Rouge dupes. Delina maybe, but Kirke is one that I am like nah, not for me. So let me just spray this because I made my notes and I've written Kirke and uh, Arba Pura, but let's see now how I feel about it because it's been sitting with me for some time. Yeah, no, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Jasmine Wisp, um, Ana Abiyad. I don't know there's so many of them like confidential gold from Latafa it's like a proper proper think of like kirke it smells just like that so this is a fruity floral on fragrantica it's got 3.32 imagine how low the score is and i can absolutely understand why top notes are peach raspberry and cassis middle notes of heliotrope lily of the valley and white musk and the base notes of sandalwood citrus and amber if brands are watching me please please stop making these dnas like just stop with kirke especially like stop with delina we we have had enough like i know like they're trying everybody's trying to make dupes but even within brands they have multiple perfumes that smell the same so i i don't understand that like why you know this is like super powdery musky fruity but that kirke fruity you know it's not fresh fruits it's like a weird fruit like i appreciate 
Harimal Sultan. It smells different. This one just makes me feel like sickened. It claws me. I don't know, now I just don't feel like the scent is anything attractive. Like if I feel someone is wearing this, I don't want to go near that person. I automatically will try and like escape from there. And it has some, some type of aldehyde. It's obnoxious. It's so bad. Like I want to run away. Like when I smell this perfume, like literally all I think about is like, oh my God, aldehyde overload. I want to run away from here. You know, I don't use my jasmine whisp anymore because of this DNA. Like it's sitting somewhere. You can see it somewhere, you know, I still have it and I cannot wear it anymore. I used to absolutely love that perfume. And now I'm just like so traumatized with all these dupes of the same freaking brands, you know, I can't take it anymore. And this one is like another example. So like, yeah, you know what's going to go into the declutter video at the end of the year. <laughs> Oh gosh, I might gift it to my mom if she likes it, you know, because the packaging is like really beautiful and everything. But I'll film like a small declutter, you know, maybe you'll see me like completely different face in January and December, but I'll film it so that it's, it's there, you know. But if my mom likes it, I'm going to give it to her and I'm sure she's going to love it. Nothing special here, plus the prices were like, uh, I bought it on discount and I bought it for $40. So like initially when it was launched, I think it was $60 or $65 at that time. But now it's like still very, very affordable. So if you like any of these DNAs, like go for it. And like, of course, the packaging and everything is stunning. So if you want to give it as a gift to someone who likes this DNA, go for it. Both of these are like super feminine. And uh, this, I was going to say Kirki. Uh, not this one, sorry. Ugh, desert Rose. First of all, why is it called Desert Rose? It doesn't smell like a Desert Rose. Anyhow, like, I think it's super feminine. Um... Projection is like two feet, longevity is around six hours. I'm so not motivated, right? I'm so like, can I be done with this video? I would dress up so nicely. I wore such a nice dress today. And I was like, I was trying to match the energy of the packaging. And I was like, ah, no. My rating for this is four out of 10. I'm sorry. I am not even going to allocate this perfume to anybody because I don't hate anybody enough to <laughs> allocate this perfume to them. I just cannot stand it. Not this one. Sorry, I keep picking this one up. Oh, because I packed the other one. Yes, gosh. This one. Yeah, can't stand this one. I hate it. I really do not like it. I cannot, cannot with this perfume at all. Like, I packed it so soon because I was like, I know it's not, not going to come in. Like, I'm never going to use it. It's never going to get another chance. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to smell this perfume again. And oh my gosh, I'm actually thinking of decluttering my Jasmine Wisp also. Can you imagine? But just because of my sentimental attachment to it, I'm just going to keep it. If I have to keep like one same DNA, I'm going to keep that. So that's it for today, guys. It was a perfectly useless <laughs> video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but like, yeah, I know I'm late to the party and maybe like if I had to like smell these when they were just launched and the hype of Delina and Herba Pura and your Kirke was going on, I would have appreciated this perfumes, maybe. Although I kind of did not like the DNAs anyhow. But I appreciate the packaging. I appreciate the effort that went into like making uh, the experience beautiful. But perfume wise, like, nah, done with all these uh, dupes that are like repeatedly coming up. That's why like brands that are now not like creating dupes, I appreciate them. Uh, even Latafa, I feel to some extent, they're kind of like changing their uh, brand strategy and they're moving on to like giving you perfumes that don't smell like other perfumes. Like I could be wrong. I don't know. Like there's a slight shift and I hope the shift continues because I don't want to smell like, like and from each and every brand you have the same dupe, you know, and there are like so many of them. Like I would like literally like kill myself. Okay, I wouldn't do that, but I would literally like want to not review the perfumes just because I'll, I'll be like, I'm so sick and bored, you know, of the same kind of perfume. So let me stop ranting because I just went into a bad mood and <laughs> yeah, perfumes like affect me a lot. And while uh, I'm happy that I'm kind of giving like the Delina DNA another chance, Kirke and um, Urba Pura is not going to happen. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I better go before I uh, defame these perfumes even more. <laughs> and I'm sure I'm going to piss a lot of people off because they might love these perfumes. I don't know. Look at the Fragrantica ratings you know like i normally don't rely on fragrantica ratings but these were kind of accurate so that's it for today guys this was a short and sweet video and i'm gonna try and do some new releases because these were like old perfumes that i bought recently it's new to me not in the market i'm gonna try and do some perfumes that are like recently 
I'm gonna try and do some perfumes that were recently released and um, give you like some fresh perfumes, yeah. Fresh from the oven, hot and ready to be consumed. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.